Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder with Cars.com. We're taking our first look at the new Buick Verano compact sedan. It is based on the Chevrolet Cruze and it will go on sale by the end of 2011. It hasn't been priced yet. Now even though it's based on the Cruze, it definitely has a Buick look to it, especially the signature waterfall grill. Actually viewed straight from the front, I think it looks really good. It's kind of a balanced look as opposed to, say, the LaCrosse where it's a little bit too bold. As soon as you come around the side though, protrudes a little bit more. I think of the three sedans, the Regal is actually the better design grill. Now inside, you'll find a different interior than the Cruze. Uh, very nice, it looks similar in some ways. This one has uh, the Buick indirect lighting, the soft lighting. Uh, a couple things look a little bit familiar here in the center. Um, what's interesting to me is it's nice, but I wonder if it's nice enough. And it's not to say it's not nice, but the Cruze, which will be a cheaper car once this is priced, uh, is already such high quality interior, I wonder if they can justify the higher price. They do other things to justify that price. Uh, for one thing, it'll have features like a heated steering wheel. It'll have a 2.4 liter four cylinder instead of the 1.8 or turbo 1.4 in the Cruze. They also are gonna offer a 2.0 liter turbocharged engine in the future. Nice to know, in addition to an automatic, you can get this great six speed manual. Now, even though this is a compact car, it's a pretty big one and a pretty comfortable one. The seat is not back all the way, but uh, there's a lot of seat travel to the front seats. It's actually great for tall drivers. Uh, and these are different seats than you'll get in the Cruze. Uh, those are comfortable. These are easily as comfortable, maybe more so. And I like the, the, the tone in here. The color palette is very warm. It's kind of the color equivalent of comfort food. Buick is a growing brand. They're selling a lot of cars to younger buyers. Everything's changing. I think a compact car is called for in their lineup. Uh, the question is, will they give you enough new features? This car's biggest enemy might be a really nice cruise. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.